I recently saw some gameplay of a bulwark of Azanoth warrior deck that looks to really abuse this weapon with horde pillagers and then even reusing your horde pillagers with youthful brewmaster, ancient brewmaster, and barista lynchon. So that, on top of the armor that Warrior naturally gets with its hero power and shield block and armor smiths, makes it very difficult to ever kill this deck. Now, when your whole deck is dedicated to not dying like that, you are very often going to be hitting fatigue, and I figured, hey, if we're going to fatigue, let's play a Chef Nomi. And coincidentally, the Chef Nomi also has some synergy with Youthful Brewmaster. We just need to make sure we either have a minion in play to open up a board space, or we can even just shield slam one of the 6-6s six and then Brewmaster the Chef Nomi. So this deck can pretty reliably play multiple Nomis if necessary, but that's only if our opponent doesn't concede after 20 turns of not being able to deal damage. Definitely keep Corsair Cash. Bladestorm's pretty good against Druid. I want to play Corsair Cash on two. Salute so Hoarder looks worse. But I still like keeping my card draw in my Nomi deck. Definitely want to play the cash while it still has a target. And then probably shield block on three, loot hoarder hero power on four. Oh, I'm up against some weird shit. I think weird shit is good for me. If this is like some Malagos nonsense, it's probably hard for him to beat Bulwark. I guess he's probably just ramp, right? Not some Malaga's gimmick thing. Which, uh, probably makes this more difficult. Hey, oh. Brawl is obviously a good card in this matchup, but it's probably fairly easy for him to play around. Even this might just be a good enough brawl. Like how often is he playing more than this into the brawl? Maybe. If Winged Guardian dies, I'll use a weapon charge on it. I think. I mean, it does cost two weapon charges to kill it. But if I kill it, it does die. I mean, I do have Skipper in hand. Does Skipper really get very good in this matchup? Probably not. Next turn is maybe just like Skipper, Double Armor, Smith, Novice or something. I don't know, I kind of want Skipper to hit Battle Rage. Possible. I don't know. I'm not thrilled with this weapon hit.
I probably should have gotten Horde Villager Brewmaster here, actually. I hope you like my invention. Well, now I'm gonna have to burn a coin. Yeah, this is dumb, I think. I did play the Novice, which is kind of good for the Skipper, but I picked up a Blood Boil Brute, which is much better. I bring life to you. This is a pretty reasonable Deathwing. Is it the best thing I can do here, though? Probably. Killed my Novice. Wow, big bad Archmage. Oh, big bad Archmage. What's the most damage I could do with a Skipper combo? Skipper, double Armorsmith. So many choices. Brute. Well, I'd have to like Brewmaster the Skipper and then play it again. I could brute for zero. I don't know. It seems hard to do more than three with it. Hmm. Well, I guess I can do four. I mean, four is pretty good here. Maybe I just blade storm this turn and then do that next turn. Actually, I'm not even sure if this brute's gonna cost zero. Another skipper. So I go Skipper, Armorsmith, Second Skipper. So many choices. I can still only do four with that sequence, right? Could go Skipper, Double Armorsmith, Brute, Skipper, Blood Mage. Maybe that also maybe. only does four, right? I full cleared. I don't know if it was a good full clear, but I full cleared. Feels pretty bad having to use two risky skippers on one clear. Makes my Plague of Wrath and deck quite a bit worse. But I've got Brawl as well. I think with 55 health, I can be pretty greedy with my Horde Pillagers. I'm never bouncing a novice here, am I? Card draw is kind of appealing. I mean, I have two battle rages in my deck, but I've played both my skippers. I do have the brute, though, so battle rage can probably draw two cards pretty reliably.
Shield Slam is a good card, of course. Maybe I play it here. Still a 4 8. Shield Slam is definitely better if he has a second Big Bad Archmage. Other than that, though, I mean, like, maybe it's better for Scrapyard Colossus. I'm gonna use this weapon charge. I guess I'll start working on this. I don't know, maybe if I'm doing this I should have just played Shield Slam here. Yeah, I think if I was taking this line, I was supposed to shield slam. Although, the way he played this... I do get to send a one charge weapon into this. I'm gonna play my last bounce here. I think that's fine though. I should only need one Nomi in this matchup. I do have a Barista Lynchon, but she's pretty hard to play in the same turn as Nomi. He's not gonna commit anything else into my Brawl, huh? Okay. Easy game, dude. He does have Scrapyard Colossus. Seems like his deck has a lot of threats. Hmm. I can actually play Nomi next turn. I can Nomi and Shield Slam whatever he plays here. Kind of annoying if whatever he plays here is Scrapyard Colossus or something, but it looks like that's not a worry. If I get to just play a Nomi for free here, I think I'm pretty favored. I might even get to Barista this Nomi. Or I might not even need to. I currently have Lethal, don't I? Iron Bark, nice try, but I can deal 30 damage to that. So I don't have Lethal here, but I do get to land Barista on Horde, Pillager, and Nomi, which is pretty disgusting. Oh wait, no I don't. Well, I do if I trade off two 6-6s. Six wait, do I have Lethal? Yeah, I, I just have Lethal, my bad. I was thinking that I needed seven Nomis to go face, but turns out six times six is 36. So Warlock is probably Quest. I think Bulwark is pretty insane in this matchup from what I've seen. Corsair Cash is a very good card to see in the opener.
I think I'm happy to just play Bulwark here. Warlock doesn't really go, do a good job of just chipping it down. They don't have, you know, like a Rogue Dagger or Paladin Tokens or anything. Try to draw some cards. Although I'm never really going to outdraw a Warlock. So I guess I'm really just trying to draw into uh, Brewmasters and stuff for this Horde Pillager. Of course it's the right way. That's a nice brewmaster. I do have a nice skipper armorsmith battle rage hand. I'd probably like to draw into either another armorsmith or a brute. Or maybe I'll play the horde villager that turn. Need nine mana for that. Not that far away from nine mana. Yeah, if I can get three cards out of my Battle Rage, I'd be pretty happy. Well, there's an Armorsmith, so... Next turn, I can deal two damage to his board and draw three. I think I'm actually just going to pass here. It's actually sort of nice to take some damage here so I get an extra Battle Rage card. And, like, pre-quest, I'm definitely not at a point where I need to have the weapon up. Looks like a Brawl. Man, his second best minion lived. So unlucky. I think this is really the turn to pop off with the skipper. Let's go ahead and hero power pass. Actually, maybe I should have went ahead and got the horde pillager down here. Interesting rain of fire. Treasure? Loot? What more can I ask I'll for? Put it on your I probably should have done this play last turn, but since I waited, I got to use the Ancient Brewmaster instead of Youthful. Which is good because Ancient Brewmaster is more clunky. Kind of scary. I'll show you who's boss. Armor, made to fit. Look at all this beautiful armor. So I could play brute here. I actually do need to play one more thing to kill this Alexstrasza, so I'm probably playing brute here. Um, Battle Rage currently draws 5, so I think I need to trade this, and then Battle Rage, and then Brute. I 
right? This puts me up to 10. Good novice, but then I'd overdraw. Could have used the weapon to take out the Alex, but may as well use the skipper, right? Gets me a bunch of armor as well. Oh, look at all this armor. Holy shit, he's never going to be able to kill me. I just have to make sure I don't do something stupid like let Malagos stick to the board. I'm at 56 with a two armor hero power and what, 21 charges of Bulwark of Azanoth in my hand? Did I shield slam here? Wow, I've actually drawn more cards than him, holy shit. Maybe I'll just play a Horde Pillager. I don't really like using Shield Slam when I've got a Brawl sitting in my hand looking for something to kill. Life and hope of your So I could Horde Pillager, Barista Luncheon to get back both a Horde Pillager and a Brewmaster, so two Horde Pillagers basically. Could use the Weapon Charge here, trade off the Brewmaster, and then I guess I would just Shield Slam the 8-7. Seems fair. Can I do anything with Skipper? Probably not. I have a lot of cards in my hand, but I really don't have that many lines of play. I even leave two four power minions in play against a five four. Pretty happy with that. Your wish is my suggestion. your faith in the light sure is it time for a brawl maybe this is time for a skipper oh, i do have plague of wrath so skipper goes up in value yeah let's brawl maybe he still has two Alex Straza dragons. He has Malagos. He actually still has quite a few threats. But I don't know that I can just leave Tyrion in here. Do I really want to brawl when I have eight power in play? Hmm. Maybe. I played Brawl. I wasn't really planning on this being a Nomi matchup, but at this rate, maybe it is. But somehow I've drawn more cards than my opponent. And I'm into the late game with a Shield Slam and a Brewmaster, so I can beat one Twisting Nether. The goose probably just accepts that he's never going to get crazy burn out of that against a bulwark duck. Survive. 
Well, I guess I plug a breath here. I'm not super scared of Malagos, but I think I am a bit too scared to just let it live. That's a nice 8-8. Eight, eight. Still has those two Alexstrasza dragons, which is pretty scary. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. There are some pretty good one mana warlock spells, but not too bad, I would say. He evolved an 8 mana 8-8 eight, eight instead of a 6 mana 2-2. Two, two. Is this ever going to screw me? He doesn't play expensive spells, right? Like, if he wants to plot twist and save one mana, that's cool. Might just kill it anyway, though, since I have Brute. I could draw a card here to guarantee Nomi for next turn. So many choices. I'm not actually sure if that's worth it. Why not? Oh, I guess I'm drawing a card. I want to do it with shield block. Oh wait, no. If I battle raged into Deathwing, I could play Deathwing. So that was something to think about. Deathwing was pretty good into that board. So even though the shield block worked out, I think Battle Rage might have been better. This thing is kind of scary, honestly. Maybe I just Deathwing here. I think Nomi's pretty good. Might let him get another 8 drop, which isn't great, but... Maybe I should play Deathwing. Really wish he had one less lackey in play, but whatever. Interesting plot twist. You're in my hands now. Oh, I see. Well, this is definitely a Nomi. So he's got like a Dark Skies, but who cares about Dark Skies? I think this deck plays one Twisting Nether, but not two. And I've seen Zephyrus already. So... I think this is pretty solid. I've also seen all of his randomly generated cards now, I think. Oh, he can have Caladan, but he did Plot Twist already. That was something that wasn't even on my mind, though. If I was reckless with this and he had second plot twist into Caladan, that'd be bad for me. Wow, he's just gonna eat 24 here, huh? I mean, 
I could hit him with the weapon. But is that... Okay, he concedes. Wow, I actually outdrew the quest warlock. Battle Rage OP. 